Hello, my name is Alex Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how to use Windscribe, which is a VPN software that I like to use. So a VPN, if you didn't know, stands for Virtual Private Network. And what a v VPN is going to do, basically, is it's going to connect you to a server of whatever VPN service you're using. And it's going to uh, encrypt your data and send it to, and like, add all your network data and send it to that server instead of wherever it's going, like, directly. Obviously, it's more complex than that, but... And then, through that server, it's going to send it to wherever it's going. And there's a few benefits to doing this. Um, the first one is that it's encrypted, which means, you know, if someone gets a hold of your outgoing traffic somehow, it's not going to be easy for them to just crack it and get whatever data is inside. And the second of all, because it's going through there, because it's going through... Uh, a server and that's going to wherever you're sending it to it's going to be harder to track because the the network you're sending it to thinks that it's coming from that server um, another thing it does bypasses any sort of you can bypass any sort of region lock that a uh, program or application might have I know a lot of people like to use it for Netflix you know so sometimes Netflix on America or in other places doesn't have some shows. You switch to a VPN service in a different country, and there you go. You can watch whatever show you want. And uh, so a, a problem that doesn't really exist that much anymore, but like the example that I like to use a lot is like a cafe setting, you know? Um, if, you, if, if you're on a cafe Wi-Fi and you use your VPN, it's a lot harder for someone like someone else sitting on that Wi-Fi to get your get your data from it, you know? It's the kind of the thing there. So to start, we're going to go to Windscribe's uh, service here. And you're gonna download Windscribe. Uh, they have a Chrome version, like a Chrome app that you can use. You don't have to, but it has some neat things like web block if you want that, or ad block, sorry. Let's go ahead and open this up once it downloads. Go ahead and just let it, let it spread. Uh, you can do custom install. It doesn't really do anything in this, but you know, you like that control. Just go ahead and choose where to set it. Choose if you want a desktop. This don't do anything. They have a little bit of sense of humor. And just install it. There you go. There you go. Normally you'd have to sign in, but I'm already signed in, so that's just how it is. Um, it defaults to your best location. It's like the best connection you'd have, but you can set it to any. The stars on them mean that it's it's a premium location, so you have to pay for to get that service but uh, we'll just go to say how about Hong Kong because that's a free one and it's pretty obvious still and that's working so as you can see over here it's connecting I have to give it a few moments while well, it connects and you can see the IP address that it's going to be using okay so it's connected now and a pretty easy way to tell is just go to what is my IP address. Just find it pretty easily on Google. So this is where it believes I am in Hong Kong, which as you could probably tell, I am not from Hong Kong. And even though this service is primarily used as a Chrome extension, it'll work for anything. So let's go to uh, say like how about Microsoft Edge here. And we'll go to write my find my IP address on here. And also thinks I'm Hong Kong. So it's pretty simple to use if you want pretty simple service. Again, it has places all over the place. Um a few benefits of Windscribe in particular, opposed to some other VPN you might use, is um the 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 Windows extension, if you have it, it'll block malware. And uh, 
the VPN service. I know most of them don't these days, but there's no logs on them. They don't keep logs, so it's very hard for anyone to see what you did on the VPN after the fact. Um, I know a lot of people have have uh, worries about uh, VPN service based in America, in the U.S., because you know they're concerned about some privacy laws that may have affected. Uh, Winstrive is Canadian based, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, a service they added recently is uh, the availability to make a proxy server and also port forwarding. So if you want to do anything with like, securing any local devices you can use, you can go ahead and use their port forwarding service. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Hopefully it helps you.